Just like Pez. Oh. Oh. Flip! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> We collected them all here, at least in the Hasbro edition, guys, of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. We have the Magnificent Seven, plus an extra Spooter Rex. That's right, he's out spoodering webs through his yapper here. You gotta take a look at it. And we got all of them from Jessica Drew to Spider-Punk to Spider-Man 2099. And then don't forget Miles Morales. He's the coolest part of the whole show there. You know, it's based upon him. And then you got Spider-Gwen. If it wasn't for her, I mean, it's just such a good match here. And then you got Peter B. Parker. What's the B for? PB could be peanut butter. And then we have the Spot. And that's kind of cool there. And actually in this one, you actually have uh, Miles Morales appearing through the spot. I don't know if you can see it, but we'll get right to it, okay, guys? And then don't forget, we got Spider-Rex. First, let's go with the original Spider-Man. It's Peter Peanut Butter Parker. <laughs> it just looks cool, man. He, he's got no socks on here. It says it's inspired by the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Well, it's the second part, you know. And this is part one. It says up at the top, Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse part one. So there's got to be a part two, probably in about a year from now. Can't wait to see that one. Can't wait to see the first one. And then on the back, you got the Magnificent Seven right there. It tells you, as we just went over, it says also available Miles Morales, Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man 2099, Jessica Drew, Spider-Punk, The Spot, and Peter B. Parker. And this is him. And it is Hasbro right there. It says Hasbro. So, And these ones are a little bit more than just the regular ones. So I'm hoping that when we open them up, they got a little bit more mobility. Uh, they got extra switchable hands. Uh, actually, that works pretty good. He's got his web thwipping hands, so when he's in thwip ability, thwip mode. Cheap plastic. There you go. Versus his hands right here. They're in clench fist mode for punching. Okay, so if you look at him, he looks really cool. Just got to get him to stand. But he does have a bendable joints. If you look at his feet, it looks like you can... Oh, there we go. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we won't be bending those, but they can be bent a little bit. A little bit. And so just to give it balance, you got to push him forward just a little bit. That's cool. And his... Oh. His neck twists and it goes up and down. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And then his arms. Let's see how many different joints. So he rotates here. He can bend at the elbows. And then his wrists, they twist and they should just pop off. Oh, there we go. Uh, this one looks like his right hand. There we go. He'll punch you with his left and flip you with the right. <laughs> That's a one, two, thwip, punch. No, one, two, punch, thwip. And then his torso. Oh, uh, yeah, that doesn't look right. But I guess you could do it. <laughs> if you wanted to. I was trying to see if his torso twists, but it doesn't. So as far as action figures go, it's really cool. You just have to balance him. Um, maybe give him a little bit more of a lean to. There you go. Oh, he's leaning. He's all on his right foot. Okay, that's cool. We'll just put both hands on because, you know, when you're in a fight and they're coming at you, it's better for uh, long range, you know, fighting just to whip him right there. There you go. Just like that. That does look balanced, doesn't it? Okay, we're good. Peter B. Peter B. Cool. Let's do Spit Spot. I mean, he's a threat to the multiverse, right? At least that's what I read. And these things don't give you the detail about the spot. Like the first video that we did gives you a lot more detail if you want to learn more about him if you haven't seen the movie. So we got his hands and they look like they're in fist clenching mode. Oh man, those are like Frankenstein hands. They're huge. I mean, Spot must be a big guy. Take a lot of Spot remover to get rid of him. It's interesting because that one's flat as foot and this one's kind of extended. So maybe it's supposed to be like him walking forward if it'll stand. Give him instructions. Well, he does bend at the knees, you know. That's cool. And, you know, the uh, thighs, they twist to the hip. Uh, he does the splits. He's doing the spot jumping jacks. He's got these big long hands that are out like this, but why would he need clenched fist? Does he really punch somebody? Ow. Oh, I feel like I'm going to break him. This is good that we have a video because it seems like this was kind of pulled out of socket. So I don't know if you heard it, but when I pushed it in, it just snapped. So it looks like he was kind of a dangly ankle there. Let's see if it works now. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think we almost got it. It's kind of temperamental, but a lot better than what it was before. Oh, <laughs> you breathe camera, mom. You shouldn't do that. So <laughs> just, that's cool. I love the spot. That looks awesome. He's now standable here, posable. Oh, and then we got these... So this is like, I believe it goes on his spot somewhere because look at that. There's an extension where it hooks around maybe an arm and then this one has a hole in it and it doesn't tell you how this is supposed to go. But I assume that spot, look, cause that's Miles Morales. I mean, that's his suit, right? Yeah. Coming through and that's his head. So he's like, oh, wait, the, the spot's, spot's got, got me. me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's cool. It's going to hook on something, but there's nothing on him that's skinny enough to actually put it unless you put it on his thumb. Oh, we're going to try his wrist. 
Ooh, the spot's got. Now, what about this, though? Oh, uh, where does that go? It's supposed to slide. See, the back's supposed to slide over something. I don't see anything on him that you can just, you know, slide it on there. Maybe that's what it's for right here. Huh. It's the only thing that makes sense. We're going to try it. I know it's weird. Oh, hold on. Now we have to shift it. <laughs> He's going, help me! <laughs> the spot's got me. That'd be pretty creepy, man. That's, you know, all of a sudden he disappears and you just get sucked in one of the spot. The white part's safe. You know, you can touch and shake his hand, the white part, but you touch the black spot, you you suck right in, okay? That's just kind of freaky, guys. I don't know, man. It might give me uh, spot mares. Okay, guys, in the spot reveal, I didn't realize, but in the package was the stand here. And so on the stand, let me if I can put it out here next to spot, is where you're going to go ahead and you're going to clip this to the stand right here. Oh, maybe it's better upside down like he's trying to, either way. And then this part right here at the hole is gonna go right up at the top of the stand and it goes right next to him. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. He's like, hit me, hit me. And now for the roundabout. God, what are you looking at, punk? No, it's Spooter Punk, man. <laughs> he's cool looking. And so he's got his guitar. Oh, man. Just that uh, mohawk there. That's cool. You guys think I ought to see the movie? Camera mom saw it, but shh. She's not supposed to tell me she went and saw it with Caleb. Jacob and I are going to, you know, see it in the... Well, you see it in the theaters. We're going to see it in the home. We're going to have it all decked out, you know, when it comes out. This one is so much cooler, this Hasbro one. This is the coolest spider punk that I've ever seen. I mean, look at it. He's got his britches hanging down, or his, like, suspenders. It kind of reminds you, pants on the ground. Pants on the ground. Why are you always walking around with pants on the ground? Suspenders on the ground. <laughs> it's like, why well, if you just grab that, and you just won't be able to get away. But, man, look at that. This is the most detailed spider punk I've ever seen, guys. And he stands great. Oh, he's got his little bands right here, spikes, and, uh... Oh, his arms do bend. That's cool. His suspenders, I assume, will just keep him down. <laughs> okay. And he does bend at the knee. Look at that. He's running for his guitar. Oh, then we forgot the guitar. Oh, here. We got to get him. You know what? He's got his twippage. Oh, he's got his pick. Look, his guitar pick right here. And then he's got his... That's where he's going to hold it. So, can you actually hold it and thwip? You know, he's like playing. It's like... Interrupting the concert, dude. Cork it. It's like, all right. And then somebody told me what the FSM was on the back. Oh, what was that standing for? Um, Spider-Man Fortnite FN. Okay, all right. That's what we go with, you know. <laughs> Guys, you got a Fortnite challenge at the end. You want to watch it. This is the new season of Fortnite. It's really cool, man. It's actually the release of uh, Transformers. Optimus Prime. spider boss let's roll. I'm trying to get him to stand right. He's kind of like a little wonky on the ankle. You can see it's kind of bent out, but you can actually twist it in, I think. It's like he's got his combat boots. That's cool. Okay, so I want the guitar guitar first. Look, he's got, uh, what is that, a rock band? That's what it was. It's Guns and Roses, guys. It's Spiderwebs and Roses. You know, he started his own thing. That's so cool. Look, okay, we go around. This is going to go up. He's got to turn his wrist to hold. Oh, see, look, he's got his finger up there to, to pinch the strings there. That's, man, this is so detailed. Hasbro, you did good. And then how's he going to bring it down? Oh, if you don't know, just look at the picture. It's kind of kind of bent. Oh, we got to get it underneath. So you got to get his... Ah, there we go. You're going to play for us. What are you going to play for us? Sweet gypsy rose. I don't know. Anything roses, right? Look at that. Does that look good? His hand's not quite down there yet, but we'll get it down there. Or he'd look more rebellious if it wasn't a guitar, it was a banjo. Or a ukulele. <laughs> not cool. And then you got to take this off because maybe he's just like faking it out. So he's going to play. He's going to play in your face. Man, that's cool. Oh, we got to turn around this way. There we go. That looks better, right? I think that's his left hand because it looks kind of weird. So that he just, he only got one hand he's going to thwip from. So yeah, I suppose he could kind of hold it like this. He still has to play, you know, he can hold like here and still thwip you in the face, right? And it's not too difficult to get him to stand, just the balance. That's all. I love how he can move his head too. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thwip. Okay, let's get let's put him over here. I love spider punk. That's the most detailed about the punk that I've seen in any of these. Oh, don't be a punk, man. I think we can stand. I think his see his boots want to move forward. There we go. I think we're good.
Okay, um, next let's go ahead and do, oh, this gal right here is our Jessica Drew. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the Hardy Boys. And what's her name, Drew? Oh, it's the Drew in there, Jessica Drew. She's a mystery uh, solver, you know. Her day job is solving mysteries at night. She's a spooter girl. We got her hands coming out. Come out easily, nicely. And look, she's gonna have a baby spider Drew. Well, she's pregnant with the spider Drew. And does she stand? She looks cool, hold on. She's only as cool as as much as she can stand. And so far she's got balance to the force. She's got her hands like this, but you know what? She doesn't have any, oh, ow. And she's got a lot of hair that will keep her back, you know, it gives a lot of weight. She doesn't have any thwippage mode. Does she, I don't know if she thwips, you know, but I assume she does. And there, there's her satchel for, I don't know, I guess when Junior's born, she can just whip the bottle out. Here you go. <laughs> And then, you know, he's well fed. <laughs> or she, or them, fraternal. A boy and a gal, or double girls. <laughs> that, she'd pass out. What? I'm pregnant with twins. There you go. I mean, she looks great and she stands really well. I love her glasses. That's cool. She, she's got her hands like this, you know, and maybe she's being nice, you know, hey, you know, let's be partners and stuff. But then, you know, these right here, they're not thwipping. Maybe she's more of a puncher girl because if you look at her, look at that. It looks like she's fisted, man. Fight the power. Fight the power. Oh, I mean, she is the power. And she's just fighting herself, you know, she says that. She's got to get her to stand with those fists. Yeah, she wants to spin backwards, so it's going to take a little bit more balancing with her. She's got narrower feet than these guys here, and her hair is just kind of the, trying to balance that. You know, I assume that the hair doesn't weigh that much. <laughs> but with the plastic, that's a lot. Okay, uh, we're going to go over here. Cool. Hmm, you know, he's the, probably the most powerful Spooder man, so we're gonna have to do... Gwen! When do you say? Well, right now. That's what we're doing. Aren't these detailed guys? Very detailed. And she is the most detailed Gwen. I mean, look at it. She's okay. So she had her head shaving on the side, right? She had a little bit of pink and blonde. That's cool. And there's her shaving head. I mean, it looks like her hair could come off. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh man, look at her feet. They're even tinier than hers. Let's look at the arms, Kate. They can bend. And she's got her twippers ready. Oh, she's got a fist and a twip. Here, let's get her to stand first. Okay, so again, it's all in the ankles. Let's get the ankles to just work right. We'll try to like bring her arms down. Okay, cool. And then there's her uh, hoodie. So her head is going to pop off because she's got a hole at the bottom here, guys. That hood looks cool. I mean, there's very few girls can get away with a hood, <laughs> but she could. And then you got the hands there, which look really cool with the pink. So, you know, she has it right here. She has it there. They're, they're both pink. Okay, this one's more like she's grabbing something. This one she's just extending. And this is the only one she has to thwip with. And then she's in a fist here to punch. You know, we can just pull off one here. I think this is the left hand. Cool. I want action though. I want her to thwip. Thwip. I mean, it's got to be more extended, right? You really got to get that thwippage out if you're going to go anywhere with it. Whoosh. Cool. Now we got to take off her head. Oh, she's got her little uh, scarf, neckerchief around here. It's kind of movable too. See that? Oh, yeah. Huh, I don't know. I mean, we could leave it on. Maybe that just goes with her. It does still go with it, I think. So that pulls off, but... Because I think that's what the hoodie is. Here, let me it's see. Her head. Ooh, that snaps good. Okay, she looks good, guys. I don't know. I mean... Oh. I think she's slowly leaning forward. Okay, we just have five seconds to explain this. She looks really good, really cool, guys. I don't know, do you like it with the hoodie or without the hoodie? She looks good either way, okay? I just, I like the hoodie because it's more undercover. Batman, you know, or like Spooder Girl and stuff. Because, you know, once you identify him, like she ain't hiding it, you know. This is her, the glasses. It's like, you know, Superman. I can't tell you, oh, Mr. Fun Dad, you know. I can't tell if you're adventurous or not. Now he is! <laughs> you know, with or without the glasses. I mean, come on. Superman, give me a break. The glasses were concealing his identity. Mm. Anyways, maybe that's what she's using. Okay. And then, I don't know, who do you want to do next? Uh, since Miles is the star of the show, let's go to the, the most super powerful of all Spoodermans. It's Spider-Man 2099. Hey, you got that much time to evolve. You got to do something with it. You know, your power just has to grow. I don't know, what would it be like if he got bitten once and then got bitten twice? Hmm. Maybe that's how he got more power. He got bitten one too many times. <laughs> 
Whoa, what's this? He really has a cape? Because I didn't see it in the last one that we had. I didn't know he had a cape, you know? Adam Mose had no capes, but I guess he did, or it's just part just shredded, you know? Just look at that. That's just really kind of, I know we'll get close ups and stuff, guys. We'll do roundabouts and things, of course. And then he's got these like uh, pickers here, and where he can just cut you up with them, you know, or do some sushi, you know? Ichiban. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, just like Batman, because Batman handles things on his forearms, you know, when the guy was slicing the blade in the first Batman movie with Michael Keaton, he's like, ching, 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 ching. It was like really cool. Let's see if we can get him to stand first, because he bends at the knee like every, you know, and bends, ooh, the torso, he flips, and he can, I don't know, maybe he can sit, sort of. Oh, yeah, gall, they can sit. Oh, he's driving a car. Hands on 10 and 2 o'clock, there we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness. He's really twistable at the waist. Okay, so let's get him in a nice pose where he can stand and not fall, but that weight on the cape is just kind of bringing him back. Okay, now he has the hands. Okay, so both these are fists, they're clenched, and these ones aren't thwipping. Oh. Whoops. They're just both reaching. I don't know, like he's gonna grab you, some monster creature. <laughs> So, you know, let's just see. Uh, maybe just one hand, he'll be grabbing or reaching. But I assume like all the Spider-Mans, I mean, you're not Spider-Man or Spider-Girl without being able to whip something, you know. It's more solid of a figure and it stands really well. So these Hasbro figures, I mean, they're worth it. At least I think so, as far as being a collector goes. They're really cool. Oh, he's kind of something. All right. <laughs> Okay, we'll do. Miles Morales, cool. You want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? This is a puff out, they hate that, <laughs> you know, chest out. God, these two dudes are the skinniest, tiniest little, I mean, well, they're teens, you know, or just very young little kids growing up, but with super mighty powers. Oh, wow, he stands pretty good. And then, just like Spider-Gwen, you gotta have a face to place with this Spooder Man, Miles. So we can pull off his head and put this on. It's nice that he can bend it back and forth too. I mean, that's cool. I mean, just angle it just right. You don't need to go all the way back. Just like Pez. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that was great candy, Miles. I like your flavors. So he's got his, his fists that are clenched, right? And then he's got, let me make sure, left hand. They're both the uh, same thing with the uh, thwippers there. In fact, I like them when they can thwip. They're so much more actionable with these figures when they can do the thwippage. That's cool. And you can leave them like that. Of course, you can bend them at the knee and you can sit them down, you know. Well, you think you're going to break it, but it's just the joints, you know, they just the bend, they pop, you know, pop, 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 pop. He's sitting in the back seat and there's the driver's wheel up there and he's just using his uh, thwippers and he thwips and then he pulls, takes a left and thwips, pulls right. You know, then to make a right turn, thwips out the window and then pulls it when he's in a fast car chase, you know, mo. and he can even do the splits. I mean, they're very, very flexible guys. Uh, should we have them both in their uh, mask? Cool. And there's, since there's not much weight to him, he ought to stand, once you get him positioned right, pretty decently. Just a little bit of balance. Okay, I think we're good. Domino effect. <laughs> Knock them all down. Okay, we got the Magnificent Seven, the last and the worst and the most terrifying out of all of them that just ends the show by eating them all up is our Spider-X. It's Spider-X. It's web chomping fun. And he shoots it, rawr, spews a web right out of his mouth. <laughs> He just throws up on you and just webs you. Yeah, and it says it's got 10 sound effects. And so I gotta hear it, you know, how many do you need? Just one word, it's scary enough. And then it's got two times the shots. It shows you here and it shoots it right out of his mouth, shows you there. And then um, on the back, you know, just right there, bigger picture, shows you that when he roars and there's a button on his back. So when you push it, it looks like it makes a sound effect and it can actually shoot dino blast. Okay, this is cool. I gotta be careful. I don't wanna disturb anybody here. We'll just have spider rex just eat them all up. I mean, this is cool. Who knew that you could actually have a spider rex? <laughs> A spider tiger, a spider bear, uh, but the spider rex just this seems so suitable here. It's a nice smooth opening here. Oh look, he got his tail. I mean, they couldn't fit them all in there, right? Um, so they have to like make sure the tail comes off and place it there so they don't have a big box and waste boxage. Oh, down at the bottom, right. Camera mom wants first look. I don't think he's gonna be, have much balance until we get the tail on maybe. Oh, come on, say you'll bend it though. Does he bend? Okay. I don't think, I don't know if he's not supposed to bend. 
But you see how it flexes back like that? I think the tail will give him weight because I just put a little bit of pressure on there. So we got to get his, uh, his spooder webs out. I mean, these are spooder bombs, man. You get blasted by him. And remember, the T-Rex is like huge, right? So one shot out of his in your mouth, just yap, yard! And it's like it plows the whole city, you know? <laughs> Who'd win in a fight? Would it actually be Godzilla or the spooder Rex? Remember, Godzilla's got the bread, uh, fire, but a different version of having like uh, electricity coming out of him and stuff. And so I don't know. Let's go ahead and let's see which way is the tail the red here oh snap okay yeah you definitely have to have the tail and you can't bend the legs really oh did you guys see that you bend the legs so if you bend him at the legs he'll make a sound and he'll open his yap speakers right here okay and there's the battery hole but look how cool he looks with this little mohawk yay oh so you hear that yell then he shot that sounds like a wave like no, actually, he's just yurping up his dinner, you know. <laughs> okay, that's the second sound. God, that one sounded like it was an airplane. Then all of a sudden he shot two. Choo, choo, choo. That's cool, man. They got some great sounds here. And notice how they got two buttons here. When I started moving them up, this one kind of like started making a move on its own. You see how it goes in? So I'm gonna try to push the button here. Okay, I don't know how it's gonna go because it's kind of up, I'll kind of aim it this way. It says push the button here. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, it, it shot out when I... Okay, okay, I don't know where that went. Okay, I see it. Okay, so it, I'm sitting here pushing the button. It's doing nothing. But when I, as soon as I dropped it, it shot. Okay, we're going to try this again, okay? Okay, ready? We're going to drop it. We're going to see if it comes out. Oh, you can't. Oh, that, that was a different roar. I like that one. So maybe I was actually pushing it down, and then I pushed the button, and then it shot out. So maybe. Okay, so this time I'll drop it, and then I'll push the, the hiney here, okay? Okay, here we go. Ooh, that went 12 feet, guys. That was a good shot. I almost hit the camera, too. Guys, I really think out of all of them, this is the most coolest figure out of... Because he does more than just, like, you know, just looks like he's going to do... He actually does something and makes a lot of sounds. <laughs> but, you know, we, we collect these. These are cool-looking action figures. But the T-Rex, oh, my goodness. It's just the coolest. And it doesn't work until you actually move his legs forward for some reason. And then you punch it. Ooh, right over camera mom's head this is it if this doesn't work i don't know what will gotta angle it right oh yeah <laughs> Woo! and he does rock and they both are punks look how they got their mohawks man yeah let's go to the concert now <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We got more on the way. Now onto the Fortnite challenge where I can win in a Spooderman across the multiverse skin. And I chose Ghost Spider Gwen and her Arachobats, Spadix. I like this loading screen to Gwen, all the different vignettes. It's pretty cool. And this time I'm going with her hair down. She's not in her hoodie. She's not in the hood. And she's got her drum <laughs> for pickaxe. All right, ready for this challenge here. And I'm gonna go land at Breakwater Boo. Jump. I like her uh, contrails, chemtrails. Oh, she's trailing something. It's a little bit far away, but you know what? I want something that's a little bit far away when I have a crown. <laughs> Hopefully I can hang on to it long enough, if not completely, to get a win. Looks like we might get some other uh, floaters over here. Most likely a bot, I'm guessing. Okay. Oh, good. We got a chest here. Okay. Um, grab that. Grab some loot. Got a Havoc rifle. And a combat SMG. And a little bit of slap it. Got our MK. And this is a pretty good loadout to start with. Oh, there he is. Just uh, don't mind me. Oh, grab a shotgun. 
I can see your footsteps <laughs> behind me. Let's go grab some minis. I don't know. They're going to be coming over. Yeah, they're coming. Oh, they're looking right at me. They're trying to shoot me through the slats there. Okay, come on down. It's Blue Demon Girl, my arch nemesis. There we go. <laughs> Probably took her by surprise when I shot her and she fell through the floor. Let's go ahead and finish up with a little bit. Five more on the mini. Mm, cool. Big pot. I'll we'll just hide out in here and take a big pot in case if, uh, I've had some sweat sneak around. You didn't think they weren't there, but then all of a sudden, blah, they jump scare you. Okay, aug time. Reroll. Let's become the key master. Let's see what we can gather. No, oh, grab that shotgun, do an upgrade. Get some more ammo. And we'll go ahead and capture the flag. May need some corn to get me through the storm if I don't get any other heals. Because it's coming upon me right about oh, just as the time to capture the flag. Okay, med kit, meds missed. Nice. Go ahead and. I think we're pretty good. I'll just take the uh, Havoc shotgun, the rare. Get some slap it. And then let's get out of the storm. Oh, there's no truck here. Okay, we'll keep moving. Man, it's just a little ways. I'm gonna have to med mist a little bit to get uh, to the zone. Um, go ahead and med mist the rest. Is there a chest in here? Okay. Oh, some slaps. Yes. Go ahead and slap it for some speed. I'm gonna need it soon. Og, first assault, good. And let's see what I can get with my keys. Oh, you know, that heisted shotgun, man. That's my favorite shotgun in all of Fortnite for shotguns. It's so cool. It's, uh, I think, the most powerful shotgun in Fortnite as of right now. Okay, let's get to the zone circle. Take out a few trees along the way. Take out some fences. And we yeah. got some fighting going around me. There's a chest. They're gonna ignore it. I'm gonna keep moving in until I'm in the circle. Then yeah, I'll jump ship here. Oh, there's somebody right there. Oh. Oh, got him. Now that accelerated uh, heisted shotgun here it's interesting after you fire the first shot your ears start steaming i don't know if that gives you speed or what or you have to hit them <laughs> you think i know about my favorite shotgun but i don't <laughs> get this one pretty good not bad for being as far away as i am it's just fun i love the shotgun the heisted look at oh man I reloaded really fast that's awesome that's acceleration that's probably what it is oh somebody else heard the shots are coming in and they're blasting the boat bullets. Oh, he hired a bot. Oh, he almost detected me. Neener, neener, you didn't. <laughs> so I'm still good. Swift shotgun reload. Yeah, I'm already accelerated. Man, I can just go great with the shotgun. What's he doing? Oh, ouch. Okay, good show. Wasn't expecting that. Go ahead and take the truck and bye bye. I'm really liking this season much more than uh, most of the other seasons. I didn't like the jungle at first, but I'm, it's kind of grown on me, as jungles do. Okay, somebody right here. Can I hit you? Jump up. Good job. Ru red ruby, red ruby. Said red ruby on over. Chest. Oh, that's pretty, like, busy over here. Ooh, okay, that didn't affect me good. Well, I wait, might as well do an AUG. Mm. I got some money to burn, but come on, I could use something really good. Sorn Sprints, nice. There's somebody. They're taking a while to eliminate each other, so I assume they're not sweats. Might as well go out and get another free limb, as it were. 
to third partying. Oh, looks like you already did it. No, don't heal. No, no. And eh, there we go. I think he had one of those slurp juices. That would have been good. Let's go ahead and pop it and make a run for it. Anything? I'll grab some ammo. Okay, let's go. Soren leaps. That'll get me there a lot faster. Let's keep leaping. And maybe we can find a slap it along the way. That'd be nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, eight players left. Ooh! Yeah, jump scare. I'm glad I was able to leap out of there. He had the high ground. Let's go. Keep leaping. Man, I wish I had another slap at juice. I'll we'll take it to the bush here. It's incoming. Here's somebody. Oh, he heard me. He's turning around. He knows I'm here. Oh, I'm just nailing him every single hit. But not enough damage yet. Let's go for it. Oh, got him. Cool. And this heisted shotgun is just awesome. I love it. Kind of sneak our way up there. Okay, 1v2. Make it down to this bush here. Ooh. Well played. Oh, okay. Missed that opportunity. The third party. It's 1v1 now. Uh, I'm just going to go head back. He's got to come to me eventually. Got to. You know, it's totally in the storm. The new zone's got to wait. I don't know where that other dude is. He was up there somewhere. I wonder if he's just hiding on the other side of the bamboo sticks. I don't think he's down here. There's a bush down there. Time to move. Let's head to the bush. Is he in it? No? Um, I, uh, I don't know where he's at. Oh, right next to me. Wow, how do you know? Okay. Ouch. Okay, trying to play peekaboo. Boo, 47. Ooh. Got him, yeah! <laughs> that was an awesome win with the crown too, guys. Cool, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We've got more on the way. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.